Create and activating content to get your audience off the fence. I think as online coaches, we put a lot of content out there. We do a lot of free stuff and it's very frustrating when we're not getting the sales on the back end of some of our work and the efforts that we're putting in. For me, when I work with people and also in my own world, it is because typically the content that we're putting out is not activating the client, the potential client, the audience to actually make a move and come into your world, know that they need to pay you. And a simple tweak in what you're doing could change the entire trajectory of your sales going forward. So that's what I want to dive into today. But let me just circle back a bit. In 2020 to 2022, I had a much different coaching model. It was the sort of bro scaler, set as closers. Uh, we had a big team. It was loads of outbound DMs lots of sales calls every week, objection handling, trying to persuade people into programs. It very much um, grinding every single day, probably working 50 hours a week, if not more, and not a very nice business in all fairness. Uh, yes, the money was there, and yes, it was great whilst it was scaling, but once you have the money um, and you start to realize that some clients are difficult, because at the beginning, you don't know what clients are difficult and what um, clients aren't, you just take on any client. Um, as I say, I pretty much took on anyone with a credit card and a heartbeat. Um, but I realized like this wasn't a foundation that you can build a business on. Uh, you cannot build a business on hustling all day. Load, I mean, we were doing like five to seven sales calls each per week, plus probably two to three hours every day in outbound DMs. You know, that's like, you know, 30, 40 hours. Then you've got content creation on top of that. Then you've got running of the business. Just not viable. So in 2022, I took about six months out and I was like, right, I need to I need to create a better model. I need to create a model that is built on a stable foundation that allows me to create semi-passive income. Um, I don't think anything's totally passive, but it allows me to sell through my content. So I'm not having to get on sales calls. I'm not having to do sleazy outbound DMs. I want people to come to me. And then also when the people do come to me, the transaction's a lot easier because they've already consumed the content that handles the objections, does the selling. It is literally just, hey, can you send me the link for this? Might have a tiny bit of conversation of like, um, can you just explain briefly what this is or what I'll get out of that? And I don't mind that. That's like a one, two minute conversation. And then it's like, there's the link. If you want to sign up, sign up. If you don't, you know, don't keep watching the content. And when you're ready, move. So that's kind of, where I, where I was and where I've kind of created uh, a new model, which I call the limitless wealth model. Uh, it is a uh, omni-channel approach whereby I put content out into the open uh, in various different platforms, repurpose a lot of content. And then from that, the audience binges the content because most people need about seven hours worth of content on average to make a decision to go forward. And then from that, I have my funnels and my offers set up in an irresistible way that leads them easily and um, you know in a streamlined fashion throughout the, the funnel into a payment link, and it's either you come in or you don't come in. And then every now and then I will run you know free masterclasses and things like that to kind of top things up and get new people into my world, give them an experience of what I'm doing, a bit like this one. And if they then think, okay, this is the guy for me, I resonate with him, I trust him, he clearly knows what he's talking about, he can solve the problem that I currently got, he can get me to the dream outcome, then they're gonna go ahead and um, engage. And that's kind of the idea behind everything that I do and everything that I produce, is that I want people to uh, basically binge my content and then step into my world when they're ready. I don't wanna be forcing people into my world anymore. I think um, those days, uh, yes, they were good and they created money, but you also create a lot of hassles. You've got people in there who are like only one foot in rather than two feet in. Um, the minute that it's not going well for them, they're looking at an excuse to bail out. And the whole just client vibe and vibe of everything was just not right. So I have, uh, I think there's four main pieces of content that you need to be sharing every week. And then there's kind of the activating content, which I want to come on to. So we've got share content, uh, show content, give content, teach content, and then we've got activation content. Now the activation content is what I want to focus on today because this is how we move people off the fence into our wallets. And ultimately that's what we're doing this for. Yes, we're here to help people and we're going to uh, create a win-win because we get paid, we help them further their lives, their, their businesses, whatever it is that you're coaching. Um, but ultimately we need to get paid for the time and effort that we put in to motivate us to 
continue to invest in ourselves and learn new skill sets, which we can pass down to be able to show up in an energetic way to get the clients the results that they need and ultimately to be able to uh, spend the time so we're not having to go and get a job um, because we've got the money coming in so we can spend the time coaching our clients. Now, when we create content that showcases problem awareness, gives value, shows your personality, shows your story and handles objections, you do not need to do sales calls. Um, you do not need to be sending any sleazy outbound DMs. You do not need to uh, try and become an authority in a Facebook group or be commenting on other people's Instagrams to try and get some attention. Your content will bring people in and it will sell and it will handle the objections for you. Now, there's many different types of people that are going to come into your world as a uh, personal brand and as a social media creator. Uh, one is uh, people who are ready to buy no problem. I have people that land on my profile and within 24 hours they're buying my programs, whether it's a low ticket, medium ticket or inquiring for the high ticket. Um, there are also people who come into my world and they're not ready to buy straight away, but they will continue to gain value from the content that I put out and eventually they will buy when the time is right for them or when they find the right program that suits them. Um, or maybe they just need to build up a bit more trust and resonate a bit more with myself. Then we've got the people that will never buy. And I've had people in my world now for four years and they've attended nearly every free masterclass that I've ever done and they still do not buy. Why? I don't know. That's up to them, but um, that's their decision. Okay. Every single one of these options is okay with me. You have to accept that these are the three types of buyers that you're going to get in your world and you cannot sell to everybody and not everyone is going to buy from you but they may still attend all of your free stuff they may still download all your free stuff even if it's not relevant i've got some people that will download stuff that i know is not even relevant for them but they still download it but anyway um and this is all okay all right so um so that's kind of the type of people that we're going to be attracting with our content now my i've got some rules for success um when it comes to creating content and i think they're worth um following and take like anything i say with coaching it's like take the bits that you like from me and use it don't take the bits that you don't want and don't use it like it's it, it's not a case of i don't tell people what they have to do i just teach them how to think better and um so i say this is work for me or this is work for these clients that i'm working with or this is work for you know this client or this is working for my mentor who are further ahead than me and you can take whatever you want out of it and then implement it in your own way to build your business that suits your lifestyle not build a business by default so number one you are creating a content masterpiece you have to disconnect your energy from the results how many views how many likes how many shares all that sort of rubbish does not matter all right you are creating a personal brand focus on creating a masterpiece and be proud of what you're creating and the rest will take care of itself. The engagement will come, the likes will come, the leads will come, the money will come. You must be posting daily in multiple places. Now, I post probably 10 to 15 times per day, but it's mainly repurposed content. So you might think, oh, 10 to 15, that's gonna take me hours to create. It doesn't, it takes me less than half an hour every single day to put the content together and then I repurpose it across loads of different channels and that's how I am managed to be able to get in multiple places. I'm on every single social media channel. I only really focus, however, on Facebook and Instagram. So I do promote on the other ones, but I don't check into the other ones. So I could be missing leads, but I don't want to distract myself too much. So I just kind of focus on Facebook and Instagram and I try and lead people back to there. You need to be selling daily through your content. Like every single day, you must be selling through your content. If you're not, you are missing opportunities. The whole 80-20 rule is bollocks, right? You do not need to give 80% of value before you can pitch for 20%. You can pitch daily and give massive value daily. You can do them both and you, both, you should be doing both together at all times. I sell on my email list every day. I sell on my social stories every day. I sell, sell, sell every day in multiple places, but I also give massive value in all these places as well. So I'm not just take, 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 I'm giving as well. And when the people resonate, they will come into my world. The fourth one, and I think this is probably the most important point, is like, give no fucks. Post what you want. Far too many of us will go, oh, I really want to say this, but then you'll stop yourself and you'll be like, oh, I can't say that because that, that troll might say something or I might upset that client or it might not resonate with that person. If you cannot be genuine and unique online, building a personal brand, you are always going to struggle to really make some moves. Yes, you might attract five-figure income, 
but you're never going to get into multiple six and seven. You have to be true to yourself. You have to be genuine and you have to push for what you believe in and what you stand in. Now, I'm not saying you create polarizing content just for clickbait stuff. And you see that all the time. That's not what I'm saying. Just be you. If you want to say something, say it. It will bring in more people than you can imagine. And it will repel the people that you don't want to work with anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you can't overpost. I hear this all the time. Like, oh, only post one per day. Only post one. You can't overpost. Some days I'll post six to eight times. Some days I'll post once. It just depends what vibe I'm in, what mood I'm in, so on and so forth. You cannot overpost. At the beginning, you need to be building as much trust and as much value with your audience and showcasing what you can do. Therefore, post, post, post. As much as you can get out there in as many places as you can to give yourself attention. Money follows attention. You need to get attention at the beginning. If you're sub 50K a month, you need attention. So just bring in new people, get new followers and continue to scale that way. Track your followers. See how your content is working. Is it landing? Like if you're losing followers, you're probably posting the wrong stuff. If you're gaining followers, you're posting the right stuff. Double down, do more of it. And that's where you need to check your insights regularly to make sure that you can say, okay, that content's working right now in this season. So I'm going to post a bit more of that content and then just keep checking. I check once a week, just have a look what worked last week, what didn't. Let's nail, double down on those topics. Let's stay away from those topics. But let's retweak that. Let's try this. Let's try this new topic. And that's how you become good at creating content and how you will grow your audience over time. But, and this is the key to activating content. If you're not careful, by just posting valuable content all the time, you will go into what I call the friend zones. So we've all had the expression, you know, where you, you, you like the girl uh, and you become our best friend, but then she doesn't want to date you because you've become the friend. We've got to also um, use the same analogy when we're posting online, because if someone feels like they can just watch all of your free stuff and get value from it, then you're, always they're, they're never going to buy they're just going to think well i'll just wait for the next free stuff i'll just wait for the next post because it's got so much value and i'm gaining so much you have to give that to get people into your world so it's striking a fine balance but then you also need content that showcases your personality your stance on things and triggers people to make them aware that they need to do certain things like most people know now that they can't just get stuff for free from you I used to get loads of DMs. Oh, I used to send stuff out and people were like, do I have to pay for this? And so, well, yeah, of course you got to pay for it. I can very rarely get that now because in my content, I'm basically like, you've got to pay for this or this is how I work or I don't do sales calls. So if you want in, you've got to go by this route. And I'm pitching on my stories every day. So people know I'm selling stuff. So it's very rare now that I get asked like, ooh, is this for free? I've activated my audience to know that when they are in a position and they feel they've had the value and there's an offer that suits um, maybe solving a problem that they've got or getting to a dream outcome, they're going to go, I know I've got to pay for this because I'm constantly telling people that they've got to pay for stuff. And I think this is one trick we make when we're constantly giving value content out. We sometimes forget to pitch or we're scared to pitch and therefore uh, we don't um, we don't activate our audience or educate our audience that they need to pay for our services if they want a bit more closer proximity or if they want to step into one of the paid containers that's going to add more value to um, to their life, so on and so forth. So in terms of activation content, um, we need to show people what is possible. Like we, the, 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 the embodiment of our work, like what we truly believe in, how we truly sell, how we truly operate on a daily, daily basis, our story, our results, um, our clients' results. These are all types of activation content because when people resonate with it, it will activate them to want to become you, want to get involved, want to see your results, want to embody the work that you're embodying. They might want that for themselves. Speaking the truth and dropping truth bombs, um, one-liners, great way to activate your audience. Again, it will repel certain people, but it will attract your hot audience. And that's all we're trying to do. We only want our hot audience. For most of you, if you could sign 100 clients this year, you would be absolutely over the moon. Now, even on a low ticket program, you're still, if it's a recurring program, gonna bank some good money with 100 clients. We're not after chasing everybody here. <coughs> Ooh, tickly throat. Um, so say what people uh, need to hear. Quite often, you know, I say, I had someone the other week who was like, uh, it's $35 for, you know, this program and I'm not sure. And I was like, 
listen, I've invested over 700K to get where, where I am today. Like if you're worrying about a $35 investment, like you're really gonna struggle. You're never, you, you're saying you want to be a seven figure entrepreneur, yet you're worried about a $35 investment. You've, you've had all the details. You can clearly see what it's gonna be. Like how can you be struggling to make that decision? If you are, then you you know there's a massive mindset shift there that needs to become. There's no way in the world that person is going to become a seven-figure entrepreneur until they've changed a lot within themselves. And the, the thing they need to change was the program that was on offer. Um, and you know, I I don't think I'm very polarized. Like I'm not trying to get clickbait. I'm just quite honest, and I'll I'll call people out on that. Um, I had uh, a free. Give you another example. I had a um, a program that I sent. These are the details. Da 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 da. And then um, he's the link to buy. And then someone replied saying, um, if it was free, I'd be in. I said, well, the information's clearly sold you on. This is the problem you've got. This is what you need. And this is what it's going to do for you. So they're clearly interested and they've gone, that resonates with me. I've got those problems. I need, and I want that dream outcome. But then they're like, but it's got to be free. Like that for me is just a total mismatch. And I don't mind calling people out. As soon as I got that response, I then created a post online about it. And I also sent an email back to my entire database, breaking it down, screenshot of it, obviously took the names out of who it was. And that will have triggered that person, no doubt. They might have unsubscribed from my list, I don't know, but they, they also might have gone, do you know what? He's absolutely bang on here. And this is the kick up the ass that I need. And that's activated them to move forward. Um, so that's uh, another way that we activate people. The, the next thing is like showcasing your leadership. Uh, your stance on things, your opinion on things. Um, I'm not a massive like going into politic type opinions. I just mean like within your niche, uh, around your kind of specialist subject, around things that you're passionate about um, and just showcasing that you are a leader and an authority within your niche so that people want to work with you. People want to work with the best people in, in the best um, environments as long as they resonate with the character as well. Um, and, you know, people, the reason people buy into coaching is um, personal brand like if you're not building a personal brand it doesn't matter what how great your services are or what the dream outcome is that you can create like people buy into you there's we're all teaching very similar things as, as sort of business coaches life coaches online coaches so why does one person buy me versus you why does one person buy you versus me our personal brand our story um how we operate how we speak um we've all got a unique mechanism we've all got but it's all very similar so why does one choose one than the other it's all to do with personal brand and you have to be building your personal brand and thinking about but the only way to do that is by being genuine and honest two three years ago like i was trying to be this polished guy because that's how i thought i need to be on social media i was like every video had to be a production um i had to be well dressed i had to have all these professional photo shoots now it's like kick back as you can see in a room um like in in, in just a random location i've got like a, a, a light on um i'm there's no production i've got a t-shirt on i've got headphones in um i kick back in shorts and t-shirts nine times ten that's me i'm being genuine i'm wanting to live uh, and i embody this kind of freedom lifestyle now and that's that's the client that i want to attract is somebody who also wants the same i'm on a four month travel right now you're going to see a lot of my content over the next four months in total random locations because I'm traveling the world and running, taking my business with me. I'm taking you on that journey. But that's because I embody my work and that's what I want for myself. I want this freedom lifestyle. I want my businesses to be able to allow me to work less than an hour a day, but give me the freedom and the money I need to be able to travel the world, buy the houses I want, buy the cars I want, do, do what I want, fund my family, blah, blah, blah. So I'm embodying my work. And by doing that, I've actually attracted a better client, a better audience, uh, and people who want to also go on that same journey. Whereas somebody who wants to wear a suit all day and go into an office and be all like rah, 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 bang in the chest, I'm more than likely not gonna attract that person, but that's fine. All right, that is fine. There's a coach for them and that, that their, their personal brand will attract them in. And that's how we operate. And that's how you've got to think about building your personal brand. But also when you're being fake online, like, and you're not being true to yourself, um, then people can see through that as well. And that comes across as needy, it comes across as a bit desperate, and that actually repels people that may have actually come into your world had you just been genuine. So you'd be leaving money on the table by doing so. Now, um, in terms of like activating content, um, I'm just gonna give a few examples of some stuff that I uh, put out. So um, not investing in yourself to figure out why you're not moving forward is like saying to your family, you don't care about them, as you're not doing what you should be to support every single one of them from your time. Like some people will read this and go, 
who, especially if they're family orientated and be like, oh yeah, that's triggered me a bit. Um, I've invested 700K to learn the skills to get to where I am today. And you're worried about a $35 offer and you wonder why you're not making millions yet. That was that post. Like literally, as soon as I had that conversation with that client, I was like, I need to make a post about this. And I did, and I posted it, and it got loads of likes and shares, and a uh, load of the kind of seven-figure entrepreneurs that are in my world were like, oh, this is so true, this is so resonated, a few of them were sharing it to their audiences, and because it really hit home, it really triggered some people, it activated people. So, it's like, I've, I've got loads more, like, if your biggest problem is you're afraid to invest in yourself, you are going to have an extremely small business and mediocre life. Now, some people go, oh, well, I don't need to invest in myself, da, da. fine, you don't need to be in my world. For the ones that are on the fence, they'll go, you know what this guy's right like i've been following him he's clearly successful he knows what he's talking about i resonate with him i've been soaking up his value he's now telling me to get off the fence i need to invest in myself it's time if i don't want a small business and i don't want a mediocre life i'm going to do something about it this post could just trigger them to to to, to move forward so there's so many different ways that we can create um information that we can create activating content but when you create activating content you will get your audience off the fence. You've got to have this balance. If you haven't got the balance, you will always live in a land where you're giving a lot of effort out and you're not actually collecting some money. It's okay to ask for money. And I think that's one of the biggest things that you need to take away from this. It's okay to pitch your, your audience. It's okay as long as you're building the value first. And when you do that, you will be successful, okay? So as we come to an end, as always, it would be uh, unlike me not to share some things with you. Uh, I have my UK retreat on Monday in the Lake District. I've got one ticket left. Um, it's going to be insane. Mindset, motivation, strategy, sales, marketing, networking, empowerment, uh, rising to new levels. You name it. I've got it covered for the two days. If you do want to grab that last ticket, DM me retreat and I'll send you the finer details on that. Um, Money Jet is a uh, money mindset program that I'm putting together. 30 day telegram coaching experience. Um, launch this. It's in pre launch right now. It ends tomorrow. Uh, check on my stories uh, on either Instagram or on Facebook. Um, and you will be able to get access to that at the pre sale, which is always the cheapest time to buy from me. And the lead in program, my master program, my master marketing program, Magnetism, which you can see in the background here on Facebook. Uh, not so much on Instagram, but Magnetism. We go live on the 30th for the entire month of June. This is going to be uh, a deep dive into how to grow your audience, um, create content that ensures that you can sell without sales calls, uh, create content that um, uh, does all your objection handle for you. Um, but basically, just my full like, deep dive marketing, building a personal brand out, um, how to become just the leader in your niche through your marketing content, everything in terms of strategic moves of like how to implement like all the launch calendars and all that sort of stuff, um, the day-to-day -day content schedule and um, what you should be posting, what you shouldn't be posting, uh, depending on the season that you're in and what you're trying to achieve. Um, if you do want access to that, uh, DM me Magnetism and I'll also send you the link for that. And if I don't see you uh, before then, I will um, see you online somewhere. Take care.